Now it's Saturday afternoon and I thought I'd take a little ride to the outskirts of Fetford Forest and check out some of the new areas that I haven't been to yet. This area is close to the one where I found all the beech trees and found the uh, penny buns. But I've not been here at all. I've been by it in the car, so I thought I'd stop today. And I've also just spotted another nice area coming up here. So I'm going to, after I've been here, I'm going to go back there. So I'll either, depending on what I find, I'll either make two videos or uh, we'll combine them and we'll have one nice long video. So let's see what we can find, shall we? There must be something about, it's the first week in January, but I'm sure we can find something of interest. Well, here on this cut tree stump, we can see, mixed in with this moss, we've got some purple jelly fungus. There we go. A little bit more there, look. Not quite as uh, purple, but this one's quite bright. So there are still things to find. We're in the first week of January and we've still got the odd interesting little things to find. Well, one thing about the winter, because everything's uh, died down, you can find stuff that you would never have seen. Look at these, these lovely groups or large groups of puffballs. There's quite a few about here. Let's see if they've got any uh, spores left. I think they have. Yep, there you go. Those little puffs of spores. So they're carrying on. What are we in? We're in the first week of January and they've still got spores in them. There you go, some lovely little groups of puffballs. So let's carry on and see what else we can find. Well here, I think we've got some glistening ink caps. They could be common ink caps, but I think if you saw them fresh, they'd probably be glistening ink caps. And it looks like we've got turkey tail on this stump. And a lot of it, if it is turkey tail. There's some old, that's probably last year's there, look. And beside it, it's this year's. But I'm gonna carry on, see what else I can find in here. There's certainly not a lot about, there's not gonna be a lot about in uh, January, but to find anything, you need to be out there, don't you? And that's what we're doing. We're out and about and we're having a good look. And if there is anything about, let's hope we can find it. Now we're going to have a little game to see if everybody can spot the beautiful witch's butter or the yellow brain fungus. So I'm going to pan round and hopefully everybody will see it. So let's have a little look. Don't forget, we usually find it on broken branches that are laying on the uh, floor of the wood or the forest. So we'll just have a little look around, see if we can see anything, see if we can find any. Anybody see it yet? We've got two lots here. Right, the first one is just there nice big clump the second clump is there so hopefully now you can all see that bright yellow distinctive colored witch's butter and there we go there we go look at that lovely lovely big group of witch's butter there smaller one beside it growing in moss 
There we go. Isn't it lovely? And the second lot is basically growing down this uh, branch here, as you can see. There we go. I like it better when it's in a nice clump. I like it, it looks better when it's like that. A lovely big clump of witch's butter. Why it's called witch's butter, I have no idea. I'll have to see if I can find out. But uh, there we go. Isn't it lovely growing in that moss? It's just starting to rain now. So uh, I guess I'm going to head back towards the car, see if there's anything else we can find before I move on to the next area. So until then, I'll go and uh, see what there is. Well, I've moved from uh, that first small area, where beach area, beach trees, and I've moved into a, another new area for me. Um, bit of a mixture here, some birch, a few odd beech trees, uh, pine. So I'm going to have a look around here for an hour and see if we can spot anything interesting. See if it's worth coming back. I'm sure it will be. So uh, if I find anything, you'll be the first to know. Wow, look what I found. A massive, massive clump if I can break that little twig out of the way. A massive chunk of witch's butter. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? The yellow brain fungus. Massive bunch. Biggest I've caught, or is it caught? I say it as if I'm fishing. The biggest I've spotted. Isn't it lovely? There we go. Beautiful witch's butter. Let's move on and see what else we find. Well, here I've spotted some fantastic big clumps of puffballs. Look at those. Aren't they lovely? Lots and lots of lovely puffballs. There we go. Lots of them. Always nice to see puffballs, whatever time of year. Let's just give them a little check and see if they've got any, uh, yep, plenty of spores left. There you go, look, that little puff of smoke. Those lovely little brown spores. Aren't they lovely? Big, big group. There we go. So let's uh, move on, see what else there is. Here we've got some nice pieces of candle snuff growing. As you can see, them stems are starting to get black, starting to darken off. So that means they've been out a while. Here we go, we've got some more here, look. Always nice to see uh, candle snuff because it means the uh, forest floor is nice and healthy. There we go. So I'm going to move on and see uh, what else there is in this new area. I think it's time I uh, called it a day. It will soon be starting to draw in the light. So it's been great here. This second area is well worth coming back to. It's, uh, we've got that huge clump of, of witch's butter. We've got those uh, big, big groups of of uh, puff balls that I showed you, along with other bits and pieces here. I've not, I mean, I've not put everything on here because a lot of the stuff is what we see all the time, like the turkey tail. And but uh, yeah, it's great. So I think I'll be coming back here this autumn, probably in the summer to have a little look around. Might even try it in the spring, see if there's any uh, St George's mushrooms about, though. Uh, there might not be, not in this thicker wood, but uh, it's worth a try. So thank you everybody for staying until the end. And uh, please feel free to uh, 
share, like and subscribe and thank you to everybody who subscribed. We've uh, we shot up since Christmas. I um I don't know why, but we're becoming a bit more popular now, so hopefully it's going to help other people who are out walking and they don't uh, know what some of these things are. So thank you to everybody. So get out there and have a look around and don't forget, keep your eyes open.